My name is Aishu Sabat and I am working in Final Year B in Computer Science Branch. And this is my project which I have developed uh, during the third year of my engineering as a part of my project Mobile Android Development. And in this project basically its a main objective is to protect and to provide the security and safety protocols to people who are in uh, traveling all alone by themselves or uh, in places where it is crime rates are higher and which is crime prone region or the uh, safety alert, uh, ring alert region etc. And what the app actually does it is a purely Java based application it is developed on IDE and Java XML resources. And this application withholds uh, four interfaces. In that four interfaces, we have contact dealer and uh, SMS alert. Also, we have two more options that are defense services and the basic loss amenities. In contact thing, we have to save the contacts of the people to whom we want to deliver our GPS coordinate locations. For example, if I want to share the details of my live location with uh, some of my friend circles, those contacts have to be saved in the contact location and then uh, the moment I start my SMS alerts, there is an option of starting and stopping the alerts. The moment I start it, it works on sensor movements. When the phone is vigorously shaken beyond the basic threshold of 250 hertz, then that will be triggered and it will set the live location along with the coordinates to the messenger the, to the desired or the deserved contact details. That's how it works. And also we have used the Manimus modules, notification modules and the PEMO intent, package manager, location, media player and the SMS manager as well. And the best advantage of this system over the existing systems is that in this we don't use any Wi-Fi, data or any GPS locations and it is basically embedded completely on SMS manager and Android manager services. So that's one application or that's one advantage over the existing systems. Also that we don't need our uh, data and Wi-Fi protocols or data or Wi-Fi facilities when you are working or dealing with the uh, crime areas. Even if the network is jammed, the uh, application will work completely fine. And there will be a loud alarm noise when the trigger is triggered. There will be a loud noise which will be spread across or echoed across the open network system. So that to gather the or uh, to gain the immediate uh, uh, attention or the immediate response to the people present around you in the surroundings. So those two are the advantages or the those two are the facilities that are provided by this application. Uh, furthermore, I can show the demo uh, through my mobile phone itself. Hello everyone, my name is Debo Smitade. I am from C, Inter I am from C International School. Um, uh, First of all, I would like to thank my management for letting me come in this tech summit, Bangalore Tech Summit. It's one of the Asia's largest tech summit. I'm really thankful to my management for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to be here. Um, here I'm presenting two of my projects. So my first project is a color-based plant health monitor and the other one is a smart glasses. So I'll explain you my color-based plant health monitor. So um, here if we, uh, if we take the leaf towards the uh, towards the sensor, it shows whether it's healthy or unhealthy. It checks the uh, it checks the green color of the plant and tells whether it's healthy or unhealthy. So uh, the green color in the plants is basically because of chlorophyll, isn't it? So it checks the chlorophyll in the plants and tells whether it's healthy or unhealthy. On this project, I'm working so that I can even try it for variegated leaves, like the leaves which do not have green in color. So at that time, we uh, it will check the xanthophyll and the keratin content and then predict. Along with this, I have an idea of adding a soil moisture sensor and a pH sensor to it. So uh, along with the Bluetooth module, so uh, the soil moisture sensor will check the moisture of the soil and the pH sensor will check the pH of the plant and then let us know about the plant. Um, along with that, the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module will be connected to the phone. All the information about the betterment of the plant will be collected and through the Bluetooth module be sent to the phones. As in today's generation, all of us have phones. So um, uh, the information is sent to the phone. And then uh, from the phone, uh, we get to know the real-time information about the plant. So this can be used in huge gardens. Like in our hospitals in Bangalore, there are many hospitals unmaintained, like gardens unmaintained. So there we can use these devices for real-time observation. Along with that, if you see carbon packets, huge space. There appointing many gardeners would be like uh, wastage of manpower and wastage of time, isn't it? So using these devices, the time also gets reduced, like uh, the time gets saved as all the device to one mother computer, the uh, information is provided. And one more usage of this is in forensic labs. Um, for example, we have endangered species and, uh, species under extinction, isn't it? These species are kept under research in uh, forensic labs. Now, while uh, trying research on these plants, suddenly the growth of the plant retards or the health retards. That time, these devices could directly notify to the phones for um, for immediate requirement. Like we can immediately go and check if the uh, about the plant cells and take uh, appropriate actions. The 
the second project mine is Arduino Smart Class. So this this is just an ideation for now. I uh, this is just an ideation for now. I'm still working on it. So the uh, the working that it does is uh, so once you wear the glasses and then it has a um, uh, recording module and a Bluetooth sensor and a small OLED screen which will be set up front of the glasses. So um, the Bluetooth will be connected to your phone. Like today's world, we have smartphones, smart watches, isn't it? In this um, this is a smart glasses. Whereas like um, if there's a call in your phone, you can receive uh, it through the glasses. Like single eye blink to receive the call, double eye blinks to decline the call. You can talk through it through the glasses itself. So um, uh, this can be used by handicaps or even night duty. It has an anti-sleep alarm also. So uh, if you're feeling sleepy, it detects your sleep and then tells you not to sleep. So this is my main project uh, for the blogs. Hope you liked it. Hello everyone, my name is Rashida Gretti. I am from class 9 ICSC. I am glad to be here in this uh, huge value tech summit because of my management who helped me to do all my projects. Today I am in this summit presenting my project, my wireless electric screen. Now, the main aim of this project is to transmit wireless electricity worldwide. So, when I place my light in front of uh, this coil, it turns on without any contact. Now I'll explain you just how it works. So I'm just uh, passing a 5 volt DC current through this and uh, there is a stabilizing of the current inside this coil and uh, when it reaches the high peak of this coil, the light just glows on. This is due to the electromagnetic radiation created by the coil. As you can see, there is no distance or any contact for this coil. But as you can see that when I touch this, the light over here gets dimmer. This is the reason because uh, when I am touching, my body absorbs all the electromagnetic radiations and it uh, goes to the grounding of the coil. This coil comprises of two main components. One is the primary coil and one is the secondary coil. These are uh, very important for regulating the voltage of the current. Now, what is the uses of these device? Now, this device can be used locally in the public. This can transmit electricity wirelessly between two countries, two states. This can also be used for transmitting the data signals from one place to other. And uh, the main use of this is in hospitals or in some IT companies where they need continuous uh, power supply. During rainy season, it also uh, it will work high, uh, in a high efficient manner compared to that of the dry season because the rain is a good conductor and uh, it works very well. But whereas the normal wired electricity does not work efficiently during the windy or the rainy season because of the cut down or the breakage of the transformer poles. Now the main idea to place this uh, is in the poles of the earth. One is in the north pole and south pole. As you can, as you know that with the magnetism of the earth is responsible for the creation of the magnetism for the uh, country state or home. So you can pass the electrons in that and you can supply the electrons. My name is Paul Paul Paul. I am from C College of Engineering and Technology uh, from Civil Department, final year, 7th semester. Oh, hi, oh, this is Mumtaz Ansari from C College of Engineering and Technology or oh, Civil Department or oh, 7th sem. Well, our project today is based on geopolymer concrete. The project is called self healing Self-Consolidating Geopolymer Concrete. Geopolymer Concrete is nothing but the, the concrete invented by Professor Joseph uh, Davidovitz. This type of concrete is an attempt to reduce the dependency uh, in, uh, on cement for making concrete. Uh, we are replacing cement with fly ash, alcofine, and then GGBFS, which is nothing but ground granulated glass furnace slag. Then we are adding sodium hydroxide as a binder. But one problem will be the reaction will be very slow. So along we are adding sodium silicate to uh, accelerate the reaction. Uh, in that uh, for mixing we using a uh, pore segregate of 20 mm of size and uh, we replacing uh, river sand as M, M sand uh, as you can see here. Uh, but uh, the problem is once we cast the there will be cracks uh, before it uh, we had a two, a two test uh, one is a slum test and uh, one is a compression test 
in slum test uh, we do the check for workability before uh, before it settling down uh, if we had uh, uh, we had a test uh, we got a uh, 8% uh, workability more than uh, compared to the gpc and opc and in uh, compressive compressive strength test uh, we had a uh, 34% more than the strength to the normal concrete cement but uh, one with, uh, one uh, withdraw is that uh, there will be cracks in this once we cast the uh, the uh, this uh, structure to avoid that we use uh, bacteria bacillus bacteria it have self healing ability it can heal the crack uh, after uh, 28 days or 56 days and uh, one more thing is uh, this one will be cheap compared to the normal cement concrete and uh, even uh, life span of this structure will be the more compared to the normal cement concrete